Hey, what's going on guys? It is Sheep here, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a whole new ghost peeking method. That would absolutely blow your mind. When I first saw this, I was shocked. I was like, why is this still in the game? But before you guys actually leave the video and say that OMG Don't is the best, I understand. I learned ghost peeking from OMG Don't, but... This method is going to absolutely blow your mind, so please leave a like and watch the whole video and then put your opinion in the comments below. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So just a heads up, this video is, oh my god, I am not subscribed. But this video is brought to you by Sassy Burrito. I don't know I'm, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Sorry if I'm not. But he introduced this uh, method to me. Uh, he DM'd me on Discord saying that I should do a video on this. So uh, thank you so much for his help. If this video blows up, you guys should definitely go subscribe to him. He tries his best and he's the lead. I believe he's the leader of Dubs Clan. So you guys can go support him. So without... Uh, any more promotion, let's jump right into the tutorial. So now I'm in the 1v1.lo home screen, and I will first jump into free build to demonstrate this. I haven't changed my skin since last stream, but this method basically works with every single skin. So you guys know uh, about the original uh, ghost peeking methods where you place a wall and then you know the character is on the left side of your screen. The 1v1.log character is on the left side. Therefore, it would be way harder for people to hit you when you aim uh, on the right side than on the left side. Because you'll be peeking too much if you aim on the left side. So ghost peeking usually goes on the right side. You peek like this. You shoot. And as the second person, it should be really, really hard to hit you. So to demonstrate this... I'm going to go over here. Alright, I've got it set up. I have like two um, parts of the um, my screen set up. So I'm going to join the party over here. So that I can do this. So I'm on the left side of the screen right now. I'm going to demonstrate this. If I ghost peek like this. And shoot. If I go over here. And then I go over to about here. You guys can see it's really hard for me to shoot him like because he's going to be behind the wall but he can shoot me because he is literally covered for the wall now this is ghost peeking uh in omg don's video he covered different kinds of ghost peeking the most easiest is the one with one wall where you peek like this Something like this, and then, but it's really dangerous because what I can literally do is just do this. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, I am so good at the game. But I can literally do this and then hit him, which is a really bad thing for me because I'm not going to be covered and I won't have time to react uh, by placing another wall. So another method is, of course, OMG covered with two walls, so it's way harder for um, you to snipe his wall because you will literally have to move over here to snipe his wall and hit him while he can literally just peek you whenever he can. It's super hard. I mean, you can still hit him over here, but it's quite hard to aim. So one more method is, of course, when the other person is on high ground. So I'm going to so be peeking over here. And then to ghost peek one at height, what you can do is do this, shift, and then ghost peek. As you guys can see, I can nearly like, I can see his gun. I can hit his gun, but it needs to be super precise aim to do it. And it's really hard for the other person to actually see him. So these are the... Um, these are the methods that OMG don't covered. Basically, what we are doing now is a whole new method that would absolutely shock you. What you have to do is you have to place two walls. 
something like this. You have to place two walls. Not like this, like not how you go speak like this. You place two walls like an angle. And then what you do is you place your um, body near the wall on your right. And then you ADS in. And then you can shoot. So to give like more, a more of a precise view from a second, like a third person point of view. This is how it should look like. So I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to be shooting this guy. And then I can literally do this. And I'll be looking at here like, what? What? And then I can literally just do this, and then I can, I can, the, uh, the pump works too, I mean, wait. The pump doesn't work because it's too far. The pump should work too, and then the sniper also works. So this is completely overpowered. Like, you can literally be like full 360 degrees covered. You can literally just do this. And just peek. Which is a super overpowered thing because you'll be fully covered. Nobody will notice you, especially in like scrims or party games. And you can just do whatever you want, which is freaking impressive. Now, of course, every single good method has its limitations. And from this point of the video, I'm going to be talking about the limitations of this. So first, I'm going to be standing over here. And then I'm going to clear all buildings over here. So there's a person over here, right? So for the normal ghost peeking method, you have this much space. I'm gonna do this. You have this much space to aim and to ghost peek with. But if you use the method that I taught you, you have a less space of movement to aim. So this is one of the weaknesses with this method. Uh, as you guys can see, I cannot like hit the person at the same block over here. I'll be hitting the margin, but I can only hit like these points. And if I aim too far over here, I'll be hitting the wall. So this method is a really like uh, detailed method that you should use but not often because it's really inconvenient, but it also at the same time gives you maximum like protection when you go speak. So this is basically the um, method. I'm going to real quick showcase this uh, in Aim Trainer just to let you guys have an idea on how it works. So also give you guys a range on how like, all right, so this is normal ghost peeking. This is normal ghost speaking. I can I can aim all these people over here. I can aim these. I can easily bloom them. But for uh, my method, I mean not my method, sassy, sassy burritos method. Uh, I can only aim a bit. Like if I miss, I miss. Yeah, hit that headshot. But I can't aim too far because it's go literally going to hit the wall. So this is basically uh, the ghost speaking method that I wanted to introduce today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this tip brought you a lot of like um, easy wins. I'm not going to say wins, but like easy uh, uh, hits on your opponent in your future 1v1.low gameplay. Uh, I hope uh, Sassy Burrito's method actually benefited you. Uh, it benefit. It didn't really benefit me, uh, to be honest, in my like real game opportunities. Like I can't really like line up my uh, opponent's uh, head with the ghost peeking method, but it it's still gonna benefit you. Okay, like such an overpowered method. It actually just completely just dominates the whole one v one dollar community when this gets out. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And go, and you can continue your ghost peeking journey. I cannot, what the heck? Wait, I have trouble now doing this. Break. 
Have fun. Bye.